guys welcome back to the channel so right here we have my infinity g35 with the g37 front end conversion and then right here we have john's g35 as well that we are going to be doing the conversion on as well so if you guys missed it in the previous video we just took off the whole front end so you guys if you guys want go check that out and bumper for sale grill for sale flares for sale headlights for sale and radiator support for sale and the hood so that's all the parts that we have for sale at the time and g35 hood hinges as well also these concept one wheels are for sale these are three-piece wheels um i'm not sure on the size how wide they are but these are 20s comes with brand new tires if you guys can tell they got plenty of thread left all around owner owner is asking 2500 uh with tires or 2k without the tires but everything is obo you know shoot an offer um worst he can say is no but there you guys have it so these tires up for these wheels and tires up for sale but today's episode we are going to be going over everything that you need to do the g37 front end conversion so we have the g35 carbon fiber fenders that he had on this car that are already cut because he had the flares on that so um he had to cut them to clear the wheels and yeah but we're going to be reusing these same fenders so it's going to be a one-off carbon fiber vented fenders for his conversion so from here i'm gonna go over everything that you need to do for the conversion all right so let's get the big bulky stuff out of the way first first things first obviously you need a front bumper from a g37 uh right here we have the liberty walk front bumper that we got from vis shout out to sam strictly motorsports for hooking it up and helping us get this bumper so shout out to sam strictly motorsports if you guys need anything from vis uh, hit him up or anything aftermarket in general hit him up so uh, vis liberty walk front bumper we got oem hood that we are going to get, get a carbon fiber hood we're just waiting for them to get in stock but we're going to be using this stock hood in the meantime until um they have the carbon fiber uh in stock and then i could go pick it up and then we have the carbon fiber fenders that we are gonna uh, basically cut in that same shape this shape right here those g37 metal fenders are going to be molded on to carbon fiber fenders so it's going to be a one-off unique uh yeah super unique we're gonna have to cut them as well because we are going to be going wide body again right there you guys see one g37 flare from the liberty walk kit so uh we're gonna be cutting that to kind of resemble the same shape like that and get get the cutoff line right here and that's all gonna be that's gonna be a lot of work so you guys will see that later on in, in the series but for now uh, we'll move on so fenders hood bumper you also need a grill as well that we're waiting on to find one well i think he john has found one so he's going to be bringing that um headlights of course these are used headlights um it has a little bit of oxidation but nothing that a quick sand down and polish won't fix uh so yeah these were will be going on this car and then from there we have the radiator support so this radiator support is going to be custom cut and just to fit on the g35 and it's going to be um yeah it's going to be a lot of work to do this so you guys will see this in the next episode of how i'm gonna get this g37 radiator on the g35 uh there's gonna be a lot of cutting involved and stuff so you guys will stay tuned for that and then from there we have these brackets that hold the latches so you need the bracket and the latch so 
you guys will need these for both sides because on the G37s, they come with um, two latches, whereas the G35 just has that one latch. Yeah, like just that one latch right there in the middle. So in the middle. And then from there, you're going to need these brackets that go off on the sides on the radiator support on top. So you guys see those little metal fins that fold upward the uh the fenders the front of the fenders mount up to that so you're gonna need that these brackets to help you align the fenders and then from there you need g37 hood hinges so these are a lot bigger than the g35 ones i've tried in my previous when i did my conversion on my car i tried using the g35 hood hinges but it was not working out in any way so uh yeah you guys will need these as you could tell they're a lot bigger in size yeah way bigger in size i think they go like this i think this is a passenger side on that side or i'm, I'm not even sure anymore but they're a lot bigger and the whole pattern where the hood mounts up to is different so as you guys can see they're a lot more separated so you will be needing these as well uh, these are the rubber plastic pieces that go off on the sides on the fenders so I got these as well you're gonna need this middle bracket that goes right here and it bolts up uh, like that there you go so it goes like that you're gonna need this bracket right here because this bracket is gonna help support this plastic trim piece that covers that big gap in the middle. So once you do the conversion and you have your bumper mounted and all that, you're gonna have a big gap right here. So you're gonna want that plastic trim piece um, to cover that gap. So you're gonna need this, um, you're gonna need that bracket. That bracket is gonna support this and um, it's basically gonna make the engine bay look a lot prettier. And on this one right here, as you guys can see, I have the hood release latch cable already here and this is gonna be this is the part that goes inside the car so you're gonna have to feed this in remove the g35 one feed this one through and that way you could open your hood oem style through the inside like any normal hood but basically that is all you need to do a g37 front end conversion the only hard part from here it's just mounting up the radiator support um, and molding the G37 fenders with the G35 fenders. Then uh, I think the third hardest part is rewiring the pins for the headlight. So uh, the connection looks the same, it'll plug right in, but the pins are all sorted differently on the G35 than the G37. So you have to rewire these pins to um, match the g37 headlight so i prefer to rewire these than to rewire the g37 headlights uh just because of the fact like if you're doing this there's basically no going back well i mean there is but <laughs> it's just a waste of money at this point but if you ever want to resell the headlights um they'll work for other g37s whereas rewiring them to work for a g35 then they become useless if you want to resell them But other than that, that is basically all you need. So in the next video, you guys will see how I start mounting up the radiator support. And then that will from there, that will help me align the hood. And then from there, I can start um, measuring out uh, where to cut the fenders and all that. And um, I'll be mocking everything up every time I do uh, work, work on the car, just because I want everything to line up uh, the way it should be on the car. So I don't get any major gaps anywhere so that's the same way i did my car so when i was working on mine i kept uh mounting up the headlights mounting up the bumper just to make sure that everything was um how it should be and i don't end up with any major gaps as you guys can tell like the gaps all around aren't like horrendous it's not perfect but it's not bad either but basically this look it's gonna look the same way on that car, except he's gonna have the more aggressive bumper, carbon fenders, wide body, and all that. So 
you guys see right here, we have the G37 fender flares that will be used for the G37 conversion. So these are gonna be cut somewhere right there, just to keep showing the carbon fiber vents. So that's the end of today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys found it informative. I know a lot of people keep asking me about what certain parts you need to do a conversion. So that's basically it. Everything that I just told you guys right now, that's all the parts that you need for the conversion. Um, next video, you guys will see how I uh, start mounting up the radiator support. And then from there, you guys will see how the whole conversion comes to life. Again, guys, thank you for always supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.